Hello friends, uh, today we, are, uh, we have a program to solve uh, to print all the possible subsets of a given list. Uh, for example, uh, if we have an input list say uh, 1, 2, 3, we will print all the possible subsets of this given set. So we in the output we would have an empty set, we would have 1, we would have 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. So in order to solve this, uh, we'll use the binary mask approach. So in a binary mask, we'll uh, take, since we have three numbers in our given list, we'll take three digits and uh, all possible combinations, like each digits could be zero or one, and we'll try to print all those possible binary numbers. And wherever we have one, we'll include the corresponding element from the input list and if we have zero then we'll uh, skip those records skip those uh, numbers so similarly so when we have all zeros that means it's the empty set when you have all one that means it's the full set so let's start uh, since uh, in binary we have only two digits two digits 0 and 1 and we have three places uh, 1 2 3 so our all possible combinations would be 2 power 3 uh, before that let's take a main list so this will be our uh, main list where we'll uh, append all the data and uh, this will be the sub this will be the sub list and in the sub list we will uh, build the individual items and append it to the main list so we will start with a loop for i in range 2 power length of input data here uh, we have three elements in the list it could be more so we are creating the range to power length of the array or list here uh, we'll move the sub list to here Okay, uh, so now uh, we'll uh, create a method so that uh, we'll find the exact index out of these binary numbers. So for that, we'll take another loop, which is in range length of input data. So this will be our index, and we'll choose which index to take based on this binary mask and uh, here we'll create the binary mask so for binary mask we'll use one b twice left j and i equals to equals to zero so if this condition satisfies We'll add the since j is our index, we'll add uh, sublist dot append input data and we'll take the jth element. And we once we have a couple of elements, once we are out of the main loop, we'll append we'll append the sublist. And uh, on the next iteration, sublist will be again start from empty. And uh, in the final, we'll return the main list. So here we have our output 
वन टू थ्री टू थ्री वन थ्री थ्री वन टू टू वन एंड एम टी सेट सिंस द लिस्ट इज लुकिंग कंप्लीटली रिवर्स दैन आर एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट वट विल डू इज वी हैव टू वे आइदर वी कैन रिवर्स द लूप और वी कैन रिवर्स द लिस्ट विल ट्राई बोथ द केसेस लेट्स रिवर्स द लिस्ट हियर Uh, you can see uh, we have all our outputs. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, we still have uh, one element out of order. It should have been here. Okay. Uh, you can work on the order. uh uh for now i'll leave that to you as a exercise uh let's say for now thank you for watching